Good morning. I pray you are doing well. So I want to go ahead and talk about AUDUSD and analysis that I gave out on this currency pair yesterday. Okay. Um, so if you follow me here on Trading View, then you know that I tend to give out like weekly tips or weekly trades that you can take or you can observe with me. It's kind of like a free setup or a free newsletter, whatever the case may be. And so um, I want to talk about one that I gave here on AUDUSD. This is the original analysis here. Um, price had made a new low. I was hoping price would come into my zone and then continue down lower, which you guys can see that it has. Now, I want to give a disclaimer here. I am a swing trader, okay, which means I love looking at higher time frames to catch bigger moves. That is something that I've not been doing well over this year because I've been looking at lower time frames as well. And one thing that I can say about it is if you are a swing trader and you like to hold trades such as I, it can get difficult when you cross trading styles. OK, um, I shared with my group last night, I should be well up over 4000 pips and I am not. And that's because I've been doing a mix of like um I won't say intraday trading. I would say more so day trading from a four hour time frame perspective, which keeps me on my charts a lot more than I would like. And so what I'm going to do is go back to my roots, you guys. I'm going back to my higher time frame daily, weekly, monthly. I may glance at the four hour every now and again. Um, and I'll even do a video, probably end up doing a video over all the missed trades that I could have taken to help for hundreds of pips to show you guys exactly what I mean and how you can catch those trades as well. Um, and here's a really great example of one. And I caught a good bulk of this move, but I should be holding down to the low here. Um, but this is a swing trade. This is from the monthly time frame. This is analysis off the monthly. So you guys can see that we have a higher low, higher high, um, lower low situation right here. 0.69675 is lower than 0.69894. Told my students hey you guys i believe price can drop back down to the monthly low and if you guys look at where we are now on the daily price came and gave a beautiful rejection off of my monthly zone and she's tanked ever since and the entry was around this area here and so the entry could have came off the weekly by itself didn't take it so i ended up taking it based on the weekly zone that i have here and she's falling. But let's get into the analysis that I gave out yesterday, okay? Uh, I won't be doing too many more setups like this because I want to go back to focus on my higher time frames because I would rather catch hundreds of pips versus a few pips in the market because I feel like this is not a waste of time. This is really good money as well. This is quicker money as well too. But over the long run, um, sometimes it can get mentally exhausting, um, waiting for these setups because this setup is what this came today on the 27th. The last setup that I had was here on the 19th. So this is still waiting a full week. I can just ride the position out and still catch these pips. And so when you're trading, I want you guys to think about something. What, what type of trading can enhance your life? Is it day trading? Is it swing trading? Because if I'm still swing trading this, if I'm still in this trade, I'm going to catch this regardless without having to drop down in time frames um, to catch that move, okay? And so that's something I want you guys to start to think about. And that's something I talk about with my team. Where do we make the less mistakes? We make the less mistakes on higher time frames. When do we make the most mistakes? We make the most mistakes when we're glued to our charts trying to catch the book of moves and when we don't have the patience we make mistakes okay but let's get into this analysis here uh really quick so you guys can see what we did here so um i saw that price made a new lower low at 0.71191 and that's okay well on the four hour because price is trending down this could be trend continuation back to the downside to 0.72287s and so I set my estimation zone, and this is me being a supply and demand trader. I'm not a support and resistance trader. I'm not a trend line trader. There's something wrong with those things. But I just rather trade with the constant flow of trend. I'm basically a trend trader, okay? And so um, I saw that price could come here and then potentially fall. And so this is why I took a sale. Price did come this morning, and then she did roll over. And so um, if you follow me on TradingView and you took this trade, kudos. 
you know, I pray you tell the same thing. Maybe you trade something a little bit different from me. Because I know some people who trade like support and resistance or with their trend, they'll say, uh, you know, say support turns into resistance. And it did or whatever the case may be. Um, You could trade two different things and still come out with the same outcome. Okay. A matter of fact, if you guys look here now, price has made a new uh low and right here so price could if it could stay below 0 0.71904 this could be another good selling opportunity to come back into the market because this is how you trade with the trend this is not the time to look for a buy you don't want to be looking for a buy this is the time to stay with the sales until price passes the last lower high here at 0 0.71904 then you have a case to want to buy but until then you have to keep being the seller Okay. And so I do this on every time frame. No matter if it was the monthly, the daily, the weekly, whatever the case may be, I am still going to follow that trend. Okay. Um, so that's the trade, you guys. That's the update with the analysis here. I'm showing you guys that price on AUD USD is in a downtrend, showing you guys on the monthly she's in a downtrend, daily she's in a downtrend, four hours she's in a downtrend. These time frames are really coming together. And so we'll see if I'm gonna go back to my monthly. We'll see if price, if she's one fourth of the way there now, if she can't continue back down to 0.69675s. Okay. So if you have a question about the analysis, make sure you guys leave it down below in the comment section. Um, and then make sure you guys do follow me on Trading View. I will talk to you guys in the next video.